everybody and welcome to Sunday School at the Body of Jesus Christ Church. I'm Preacher Kelly and I'm going to be bringing this to you and I really hope that you get something from it. So this is going to be a read along today and we're going to be doing the miracle of Jesus. So before we begin, how many miracles of Jesus do you know of? If you don't know any, that's absolutely fine. This is what we're here for, we're here to learn, but if you do know some, pop them in the comments before we begin. And let's see. Right, let's continue. So the miracle of Jesus. Throughout his time on earth, Jesus performed many amazing miracles and helped many people. Part of the reason why he did so many amazing things is because he wanted us to be sure that he really was the son of God. He started out at a wedding in the town of Cana. Does anybody know the story? Everyone had been having such a great time that nobody noticed the wine had run out. Mary, Jesus' mother, knew that her boy could sort this problem out. Do whatever he tells you, she told the servants. Jesus told them to fill some empty jars with water. They were sceptical that putting water into jars would do anything at all. But they obeyed Jesus anyway and filled the jars. Now go pour some out for the guests, Jesus said. Do you know what he did? Does anybody know what he did with the water? If you said turned it into wine, you are correct. But how did he do it? How do you think he did it? Pop it in the comments. How do you think he made this miracle? To everybody's amazement, the jars now contained the best wine they'd tasted all evening. Everybody we know begins with their finest wines first, but after the guests have had their fill, they bring in the cheap stuff. But you saved the best till now, said the guest. After this miracle, Jesus visited Peter and Andrew in their home in Capernaum. Peter's mother-in-law was very ill with a fever. Jesus ordered the sickness to leave her and she became so well she even offered to serve them right away. People heard about this miracle and everybody from all around came asking Jesus to heal them from their ailments. People who had walked their whole life on crutches were made well and could walk. People with horrible, disfiguring afflictions like leprosy came to Jesus. No one else would touch them for fear of catching their disease, but after healing other with a word, Jesus healed these people with a touch because he wanted them to feel loved. He also had people who were possessed by demons who were making them do evil things come to see him. Jesus commanded the demons to leave these people and they fled from him, leaving the people free again. There were so many people coming to be healed that when four friends arrived carrying their paralyzed friend on a blanket, they couldn't get through the crowd to Jesus. Let us through, they cried, but the crowd would not budge. <clears throat> so they went up on the roof and broke through the ceiling. They lowered their friend into the house through the gap. Amazed at their faith, Jesus told the man that he was forgiven from everything he'd ever done wrong. And then he said to the man, I tell you, get up, take your blanket and go home. To everyone's amazement, the man jumped up, completely healed. Everybody there praised God and said, We have never seen anything like this. But they won't have seen anything like this, would they? Because we've got the Son of God here, the first ever and the only. On another occasion, Jesus and his disciples were crossing the Red Sea of Galilee. When a huge storm threatened to sink the boat, Jesus just slept. While around him, the disciples were terrified of drowning. Teacher, is it nothing to you that we're going to go that we're going down? 
they cried. Jesus woke up and told the wind and the waves to settle down. The wind ran out of breath and the sea was soon as smooth as glass. Amazed, they asked, who is this anyway? Wind and sea at his beck and call. So obviously the wind and sea did everything that God had asked, them, uh, Jesus, sorry, they had asked them to do. Jesus performed all these miracles and those who followed him soon realised that Jesus was truly the Son of God. However, they hadn't seen anything yet. There was an even greater miracle to come. So that is the end of our story today. What do you think the great miracle is that was to come? Let us know and pop it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm sorry that my, the writing is so small on my screen. <laughs> I struggle sometimes with my words. And I am new to this, but I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And if you go onto our Instagram, um, which is the Body of Jesus Christ Church, and if you go in the link, there will be um, a link for the Bible study group. And in there, we you can get all your print-offs for everything that we do in the Sunday school. Um, and these videos will also be in there if you want to go re-watch them or you can re-watch them here. But I hope you all enjoyed that, guys. Um, and may God bless your week ahead. I hope you have a fantastic week and I'll see you next Sunday for the next one. God bless everyone.